Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and in this video I'm going to show you how to clone your drive. Now this will work for a hard drive, or in this particular place, we're going to use a solid state drive. So Plexter was nice enough to send this drive along. Very fast drive, M6S. We'll be testing it in some other videos. But what you'll need to do in order to cleanly replace your drive from your Mac to this new drive without losing any information or having to reload the whole operating system, you'll need to clone the drive. So what I'll do is I'll take this out and what I'll do is I'm going to place it into this little carrier I have here and this gives us an external hard drive and you may want to pick one of these up. I think I just got it at Newegg or one of those places, Amazon. And what it lets me do is connect via micro USB or mini USB to a Mac via USB. Now there are different interfaces, it's up to you what you choose, but basically we just have a SATA interface here. We're going to place our solid state drive into it, and then we're going to be able to plug it into our Mac so that we can clone it. So here's the drive, you can see it's sealed, and in this case we just take it like this, slide it in like so, push it down. No screws required in this particular drive carrier. And that's it. So what I'll do is I'll take this, plug it into the MacBook, and we'll take a look at what software we need to use next in order to clone it. Here is the computer I'm going to be replacing the drive in. So what I'll do is take my drive, plug it in. Now this is the first time it's ever been plugged into a computer, so it should ask me if I want to initialize it. In this case, I'll just do that. It'll open up Disk Utility, and Disk Utility will show me the drive here. Here's my original drive, the new one's slightly smaller, and what we'll do is we can either partition it if we want to split it into two different sizes, but in this case, I just want to erase it, and Mac OS Extended Journal, that's the one you want to pick. Click Erase, click Erase, We'll wait for it. This shouldn't take too long. And then we can get on to cloning the drive. Now there is some software you'll need to download in order to do that. There's a couple different types of software. I particularly like one and I'll show you what to get. So while we're waiting for this to format, let me open up Safari or whatever your favorite browser is. And in here I'll type in super duper. That's the particular software I like to use. It's shirt-pocket.com. You can just type in super duper, you'll find it. Click download, there is a free and paid version, so if you want some extra different features it allows, you wanna give them the $27 and pay for it. In this particular case, we really don't need that, and it's downloaded. So we will go to our downloads. Wait for it to open here. There is our download and we'll have to install that software. Pretty quick, simple agreement. We'll just install it. It's going to take a moment and we're going to drag it into our applications folder. I don't see it here, so let me open a new finder. That's Command N to open new, a new finder window. We'll drag it in here. Now you don't have to store it on your Mac. You can leave it elsewhere, but you'll see it's down here uh, once it installs. It's going to take a moment here, and I don't believe it went where I wanted it to. Ah, oh, there it is. You can see it's right here, and we'll get rid of this, exit out, get rid of it. And what we want to do is clone the drive. So we want to open up Super Duper. We've finished here with partitioning, so we'll just command Q to quit that, or you can go to file and quit. We're going to open up super duper. So in case you missed that, we just partitioned the drive, formatted it, and then what we're going to do is open up super duper. Now super duper is very simple. We can click copy, pick the drive we want to copy, this Mac, the, the drive we want to move all the files to, and we can copy now. Now in this particular instance, you wanna make sure you have enough storage space. Since I'm going to a slightly smaller drive because it's a solid state drive, we might not have enough storage, so let's take a look. And in this case, I have 210 gigabytes available, and we have 320 
on the original drive. Now, since I have 210 available and 319, we've got 109 gigabytes used. So that's well under our 256 that we need. So we can go ahead and clone it. So all we're going to do is hit copy now. We'll put in our password. And it's going to warn you about erasing the new drive, and that's fine. It's going to run through quite a few different things. Once it's done running through these, we'll be able to install our new drive, and I'll show you that in a different video. After some time, SuperDuper has successfully cloned the hard drive to the solid state drive. Now we can swap out the drive and boot up the Mac, and it should look exactly how it does now. If you'd like to learn how to do that, be sure to click the next link and see the video on how to actually swap the hard drive. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.